Hello, everybody. This is Dreaming Lab back for round four of Group F. Could be a pivot. Well, it's going to be a pivotal round this round four for Group F because, well, you can see for yourself how tight it is at the minute. Diddy Darius already through to the last 32. Well, should be through pretty much. A win will just about do it. Or if, that, if these three get the few, well, these two have to play each other. So, Prov I probably say providing that Ratchet and that Ratchet wins, and obviously Diddy wins. Oh hell, even if Diddy gets beat by Dino Nerd, I, I don't know. But yeah, we'll, we'll say Diddy Darius could still be caught. But yeah, Diddy Darius is about 90% through, as I said earlier, as I said in a previous round. But yes, at first we will see a big game between Dino Hug and Ratchet. Like, I gotta give Dino Hug some props here. I know they're a naughty toddler and all, and because <laughs> they they were they were going, they were breaking my rules, and I gave them points deduction, but. To get, they give them, unlike the other naughty toddlers, well, Iron Dan has a fighting chance, an outside chance, but it's still a chance. Dino Hug has actually given himself a real fighting chance to get out of this group, and if he does, then I would consider that a really good achievement. So I would, I have to give props to Dino Hug for that. And put it this way, if he wins this upcoming match against Ratchet, he's going to go second. Well, he'll, he won't stay second, because... Well, he could stay second if one of these two draw. Well, if this ends in a draw, which I doubt it will. Like, that is such a good achievement. That would be such a good achievement for Dino to get out of the group. Starting on minus four. But, you know, we'll just have to see, won't we? Group F definitely tight. All of these results could be crucial in deciding who finishes in the top three and who will be going home. So, let's not dilly-dally. Let's get on with match numero uno. Alrighty then, in the red corner for Dino Hug, we got the Sancho Rorus. Well, we definitely saw how effective his beast can be. It was a mightily impressive specimen in the last round against Dino Nerd. Will it be impre equally as impressive this time? Well, it could be, it could be. Although, in the blue corner for Ratchet, it is a T Rex. And if any of the other guys' matches are anything to go by, this T-Rex will is a sweeper. And it's got the death fire as well, if it needs it. But the but the, the Santorus does have Earth Barrier, which can stop Death Fire. Well, it leaves you on a tiny sliver of health, and then the next round will be a tie, so it doesn't really matter, I suppose, does it? Right. Let's see what RNG cooks up for us today. Ooh, the Santorus getting the first hit. Dino Hug off to a good start there. Earth Barrier coming as well. Wow, very little damage done there. Not much. But a good start nonetheless. Oh, it's an Alpha Dart. It's Alpha Dart time. What's the Dart going to land on? We're going to find out now. Whee! Boosh. Oh, it's the Dino Man statue. Whoa, smashing the T-Rex. Look at the damage. What a start from Dino Hug. Oh, it's a tie. Oh, it's Sand Trap. What a, what a dream start for Dino Hug. The T-Rex not getting a hit. Ratchet 1-0 down. Dino Hug 1-0 up. Wow, this is going amazing if you Dino Hug. Oh, the T-Rex didn't even get a hit. And he's got the Earth Barrier as well. I think the Santorus is going to sweep again. But let's just let's not count Ratchet out yet. You know, they've still got some powerhouses left. This one being the Allosaurus. The Alpha Allosaurus. Dino Ratchet fully capable of pulling this match back. But yet to get a hit in this match. I gotta say though, Dino Hug has had some insane luck in this tournament. You know, even when he was completely dominated by Diddy Darius in the third match, like the hits he was getting was insane. Ooh, but well, Earth Barrier is gonna limit the damage, but at least it's a hit for Rapture. Honestly, well, it's Desantra Rora, so I don't expect Diddy Dino to ever get a free no win in this tournament. But you never know, it could happen. It could happen in this match. Is the Santa Rorus looking mightily strong? Well, there's another hit. Earth Barrier will probably activate as well. 
Yes, it does. Well, safe to say, Dino Hug is yet again going to have a 2 0 lead. Oh, well, there's a hit from the Alpha Allo. Alpha Allo, getting the Ratchet, getting the hits, but Earth Barrier is going to limit the damage again. Ratchet only seems to get hits when Earth Barrier is in a phase. Like, you've got to let the Decentralers get the next hit so he gets his Earth Barrier back. <laughs> Can Ratchet break this cycle? Oh, he can't! It's an Alpha Dart! Oh, poor Ratchet. Right, we're gonna th we're gonna throw the dart and see where it lands. Oh, that's not bad though. You know, that's probably the best. That's the best case scenario there for Ratchet. And no Earth Barrier. Could that be co Could that cost the Disandrarus? Is it time? No Sand Trap. Oh, that will cost the Decentralis its life. This ninja attack will kill it. And Dino Hug will not have a 2 0 lead. But you will still have a decent lead, so. So there you go. But yes, Ratchet pulling it back. Okay then, as for Dino Hug's second Dino, it's a Super Opista Sila Cordia. The Awaker Mode on 2. Definitely seeing how effective this thing can be, and it is. It does have the ocean panic, so it could be panic stations for Ratchet. And it's got protection as well, so this thing will be tough to take down. Oh, the Allosaurus is down. Yeah, Ratchet. Still playing catch up, but the third dino is Spinosaurus, and this Spinosaurus can be quite the powerhouse. Well, it's going to be tough for Ratchet to come back from this, but they can do it, can be done. The Spino is not to be trifled with, and it does have the Aqua Vortex, so if that gets triggered, that can nullify the Opistocela Cordia's chances of getting off Ocean Pack, so. Not over yet, it's not over yet. Of course, if he gets hit. By the Opis during the Awaken mode, then, well, screwed, isn't he? <laughs> oh, Spino getting the first hit. Just once. Ooh, has Ra can Ratchet steal this momentum? Wait, wait, time for the Opis to see the Cordia. Well, Dino Hunt could literally win it right now. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't get there! The Spino racing back into this match! Ratchet coming back strong! Well, look at this! The Epista Sealer Cordia getting swept aside! Ratchet storming his way back in this match! And it's not done yet! Well, I'd say now Ratchet has the upper hand. The momentum's with Ratchet, but. Dino Hub does have this Super Sign Raptor, so the Awaken Mode can swing this match back in his favour. Ooh, that's a six. Oh, that's a tie! That's alright though, because the, the Epistocele Cordia is gone, no time moves can be activated. Oh, it's a crit! Yeah, if Ratchet has definitely turned the screw on this match. Another tie. Can Ratchet seal the deal? Oh, the sign rap that does get a hit. A crucial hit that could be for Dino Hug. Stifling the momentum, but his Aqua Vortex and the Awaken mode will be happening, so the odds will... Oh, hang on. Ooh. Cyclone though, Cyclone, this could be interesting. It's awakening time for the Sign Raptor. Well, we got the Cyclone in effect and the Aqua Vortex. What will get triggered? Well, we're about to find out. Oh, it's the Spino getting the hit! Goes through the Cyclone, the Aqua Vortex defeats Cyclone, and it's Ratchet getting the hit. And I think the light recovery as well is going to come in. Putting the Spino's HP above half as well. Adding insult to injury. 
All the Sign Raptors moves are gone. Adios! And there goes the win for Dino Ug. Ratchet coming from behind to get a crucial win in this group against Dino Hug. Right, just go. Yeah, no chance. No losing bonus point for Dino Hug, but a crucial, crucial win for Ratchet. Wow, that was exciting, wasn't it? I, I, the momentum was with Dino Hug right at the start, but Ratchet storming back with the Spino. And getting a massive win, which could put him, which will, well, will put him in a really command strong position to get out of Group F. Well, that's exciting, wasn't it? Right, on to our next matchup now, which is an Arctic Warriors and Jonas Chu. Okay then, in the red corner for Arctic Warriors is an Alpha Kentrosaurus. Arctic Warriors getting, getting their first win of the tournament last time out. And looking, looking for a second win in a row, which would put them right in the mix for Group F. Well, this is a massive game for because these two are out of the top three at the minute. So whoever wins will go into the top three. And whoever loses will be under massive amounts of pressure in the next, in the final round. All right, as for Jonas Chu in the blue corner, it's a Stegosaurus. Can Jonas Chu get back to winning ways? After, you know... Well, it's, it's been mixed fortunes for everyone in this group, except for Diddy Darius, who seems to win all their matches. <laughs> right, let's get this... Let's get this match on, shall we? Whoa, it's a crit from the Steg. That's a good start from Jonas. Look at that. Decent damage there. Stegosaurus getting the crit early on. Ooh, but the Kentrosaurus responds with a hit of his own. Not, mu not as much damage dealt, though. Kentrosaurus getting off a banana surprise, and this will surprise the Stegosaurus. Wee -doosh. Does the Alpha... Does the Alpha Kentrosaurus have the upper hand? Because we're in the Alpha Arena. Maybe it does. Oh, that's a tie. Break Saber getting triggered, but it's a stag getting the hit. It's a mole attack. Been an even match so far, which is good to see. Good to see, because I'm sick of one-sided matches. <laughs> Earth Barrier saving the Kentro from a Thrasher. Ooh, I think that's going to put Arctic Warriors 1-0 so in the clash of the Stegosaurs, it is indeed the Alpha Kentrosaurus winning. Right then, as for Jonas Chu's second dino, it's a Mapusaurus. The only Mapusaurus in this tournament, which is a little bit surprising, because there were quite a few of these buggers in the last tournament. But only one this time. Interesting. Can Jonas Chu... Well... Out of this match. I mean, one hit and it is level again. But can Jonas Chu land that hit, or can the Stegos Kentrosaurus land some cheeky hits? Oh, there's a tie. But look at the damage done to the Mapu. And yet, there's the crit from the Mapusaurus finishing off Kentrosaurus. Jonas Chu even in the score. Well, it's going to be a clash of gold fires because up next for Arctic Warriors, it is a Sorrow Fagonet. The full tilt Sorophagonax, I believe, so Mapusaurus is better watch his backside. Otherwise, he's going to get, well, scorched. <laughs> Bloody workers, isn't it? Terrible. <laughs> okay, let's go for two and a four. Sorophagonax getting the first hit. Arctic Warriors in the lead, but the Magma Blaster has been triggered. Ooh, but the Magma Blaster is not going to be activated. The Mapusaurus went for it, but the Sorophagonax denied it. Oh, it's a firebomb! Yeah, that's Mapusaurus dead. Well, Mapusaurus quickly and easily dispatched. Sorophagonax giving Arctic Warriors a 2-1 lead. And Jonas Chu in a bit of a pickle, however... The third Dino is Spinotector, and well, we've seen what Dino Tectors can do in this tournament. 
So do not count Jonas Chu out for a second. And, and it has the type advantage over the Faganax as well. Make a note of that as well. Of course, although a useless type advantage can be sometimes. Hint, hint, my match against Michaela. <laughs> but no, no. This Sora Faganax will not one-shot the Spino. Don't worry, Jonas. You will be fine. Just need to get some hits on the board and it's a Neptune stream. Oh, I need to get this right. This is going to do damage. Spit. Boosh. Paper rock, paper, paper. Okay, we got it right. Maximum damage will be dealt. And the Sorrow Faganax will take a big hit. Smash. Blah. Boosh. Look at that damage. Half health. Go on. Big hit that could be for Jonas Chew. Oh, that's a tie. Okay, there's no ocean panic, so you don't need to worry about ties. Another tie. Ties favour Arctic Warriors, though, even though the bar is filling up for Jonas. Ooh, another hit, and that is Soro Faganax dead and buried. And look at this, Jonas Chew pulling it back. And they could have the Dino Tector very soon, so... Better get the code ready just in case. While this Mega Raptor comes in. Again, a full tilt Mega Raptor because that's how Arctic Warriors likes to use their dinosaurs with full tilt moves. Ah, there it is. Um, no, I can always do that when the actual thing happens. Can Arctic Warriors avoid the step Dino Tector? Oh, with the thought, they've got the first head. The Spino taking a head. Oh, look at that. Look. The, the paper paper type they're activating. So if Spino gets the hit here, this is going to do a crap ton of damage, and he does! Well, this is going to do damage. This is the power of paper paper type. Ready? Oh, wasn't that impressive. It was decent, but it wasn't that impressive. Right, time to enter the code. Be not ticked up. On! Yes, could this be what Jonas needs to win this match? Or can Arctic Warriors avoid the Dino Tech? Well, they haven't avoided the Dino Tector, but can they avoid the Ultimate Water? Oh, they can't! Yeah, that's game over. Arctic Warriors is going to be defeated, and it's going to be a come from behind win for Jonas Chu. How massive could that be for Jonas Chu in his tournament? Getting themselves a win on the board, a crucial win to keep, well, to give themselves a tighter grip on the top three. And yes, the Spinotector's HP was above half, so no losing bonus point for Arctic Warriors. But a big, big win for Jonas Chu. The Dinotector yet again proven effective. Okay then. Two matches down, one to go. And this could be a tough encounter here for Dino Nerd as he takes a crack at Diddy Darius. Oh, we're in the Alpha Arena again. Interesting. Okay, in the red corner for Dino Nerd, it is a giga 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 not a Saurus. Um, well, Dino Nerd, the come the comeback king in this tournament. You know, having to do it the hard way so far, but you know they got one win on the board, crucial win. It's gonna be tough though because in the blue corner for Diddy Darius is Gigant Spinosaurus. Diddy Darius, three wins from three so far, and fully justifying why I tip picked him out as a possible dark horse and I'm expecting Diddy Darius to win this match as well but you never know you never know Dino Nerd could pull up a surprise Whoa, it's a well not with a start like that Diddy Darius strike it oh my god <laughs> wow I thought I'd never forgotten that this guy's got a good crit as well hasn't he rock roller getting triggered Oh, but the Giga gets the crit instead. And a recovery and a Crimson Flame. Ooh, that could be crucial for Dino Nerd there. The last thing you would have wanted to do is get hit by another crit, which would have killed the Giga and give Diddy Darius the lead. The 1 0 lead. But now, a Crimson Flame coming in. And the Giga landing a crit of his own. Bleh! Wow, decent damage. Decent amount of health recovered as well. A good hit from Dino Nerd. 
Oh, it's a tie. Tie might favor the Giga. Oh, oh there's the Rock Roller. Did he Darius land in another crept? Rock Roller coming as well. Light Recovery is coming in too. And a bit of defense boost. Diddy Darius will have a 1-0 lead. Giganonosaurus, dead and buried. Look at that. Death squished into ribbons. Good healage there by the cryo. Although, Dino Nerd's second Dino is a NASA Titan, and it has the type advantage over the Gigantspinosaurus, so I don't expect Darius to extend their lead. But you never know, they could. They could. I mean, the Rock Roller is gone for now, so... It, they could extend their lead, actually. Of course, one hit from the Ulura Titan buff should kill the, uh, this, the Gigant Spinosaurus and the Tai. Tai Suit Dino Nerd, though, because it does they don't have the Green Impulse. The Tai Recovery effect as well, which we just saw. Yeah, there it is. Ulura Titan even in the score for Dino Nerd, and for once, Dino Nerd is not 2-0 down. <laughs> okay, though. Here comes, I would probably say, the ace in the hole for Diddy Darius. The Amargosaurus, and well, we have definitely seen what this thing can do. And it has one-shotted dinosaurs twice! It one-shot the Sorophag, well, it basically one-shotted the Sorophaganax. And it one-shotted the Spinotector. Well, it one-shot one of Dino Nerd's dinos. Yeah, this Amargosaurus has been an absolute powerhouse. Absolute powerhouse. But it's Ruler of Titan again, the first hit. But again, that's exactly what Amargosaurus wants. To get on low health so it can get off the final fury. And it's, and it's Crisis type as well, so... Being on low health is good for Amargosaurus. Ooh, the attack boost coming in there. Racking up attack power as well. Diddy Darius racking up their racking up their attack now for one massive hit. But the Ulura Titan is not allowing it. Getting off another hit on the Amaga there. Ooh, but there's the attack boost maxed up now for the Amargosaurus as he lands another hit on the Ulura Titan. Wow, it's a back and forth match. But as I said, that Futaba Cannon can change everything. Well, got to get it off first. But not getting it off yet. It's a power drain. This Ulura Titan is looking pretty good so far. Oh, however, now the Amargosaurus is in territory as comfortable with. Oh, the Final Fury hasn't been triggered. Oh. Maybe it needs a little less help. Oh no, the Amargosaurus is gone. We're not going to see Futaba Cannon Final Fury smash a dino into bits. Instead, we're going to see a big foot assault. Dino Nerd putting his foot down on this match and on the Amargosaurus. Is Diddy Darius going to lose their first match of the tournament? Well, do not count them out yet. Actually, they do have a type disadvantage here, which is not good for Darius. But they do have the Tank Tector, and as you saw in the last matchup, Dino Tectors have the power to change the, whole, the outcome of the whole match. Tank Dino Tector. And it, in fact, has the same moveset as Ultimate Dino King's Super Tarkia, which is interesting. Although, in this case, I don't really think the technique boost is needed, but it's good to have. Oh, another power drain coming from the Ulura Titan. Could Dino Nerd get a bonus point win? I would really put the cat amongst the pigeons. I would point out that a win for Darius here, which doesn't look likely so far, would guarantee his place in the last 32 and I think it would guarantee that he will win group F but so far he's not gonna get it god say cheap tank do something oh it's a tie tie 
Another tie, no sand trap. Yeah, I, I think I think that's it now. Yeah, that's it. A bonus point win for Dino Nerd. A massive bonus point win there over Dinny Darius. Dinny Darius tasted defeat for the first time in this tournament. Ulura Titan really doing well there. The Super Fairy was needed for once. Well, that's a good way to end group. Well, to end the matches. Now we will look at the table and then end the session. Well, that makes things interesting, doesn't it? Diddy Darius still up top, still up top despite losing, and one. Yeah, they played Jonas and won. So yeah, Diddy Darius definitely through. Actually, no. Jonas could get a three 0 win, which would put him up to eleven free. These two have already played each other. Yeah, so Diddy Darius still work to do to guarantee his place in the last 32. But Ratchet and Dino Nerd tightening their grips on the top three as well. But look how tight it is. Three, look at that. Like, any of these guys could go through. Like, Arctic Warriors still has a chance to go through. But they would need, well, they would need a 3-0 win and hope that these two get defeated in order to guarantee a last 32 spot. But they could do it with a bonus point win. For who are they playing? Oh, they play. Oh, they're playing against Dino Hug. Could be interesting. So if Arctic Warriors gets the bonus point win over Dino Hug, that will put them up to eight. I believe Arctic Warriors defeated Ratchet, so they will go above Ratchet, but not Dino Nerd. So yeah, Arctic is still on for Arctic Warriors. They would need a bonus point win and hope that Dino Nerd defeats Jonas and Ratchet gets beaten by. Diddy Darius. Dino Hug, well, Dino Hug cannot get top three now, but a bonus point win? I don't know, actually. Because a lot of the fourth place guys are on like seven, eight points, so I think Dino Hug is out, unfortunately. You know, it's a valiant effort they put into it, but unfortunately, I just don't think they're going to get enough points to get a top four, to get one of the best fourth place teams. Like they, if they get a boat, if they get a three 0 win, they've got a seven. But quite a few people are on seven already. Although Dino Hug does have would have a better record than most of the people on seven. So just point out seven shots, for example, two wins, two losses. Dino Hug gets a three 0 win and seven shots loses. Then Dino sh then Dino Hug would have a better record than seven shots. So you know it's it's. It's still mathematically possible, but realistically, I think Dino Hug is going to be eliminated. If it weren't for the points deduction, well, they'd be on six. They'd be on yeah six points, so they they'd still be outside the top top four three, but they would have a decent chance of getting through. Now I just don't think they have much of a chance. They're still on, but it's a long, long shot at this point. So yeah, round five will be massive for Group F, as we will see Diddy Darius taking on Ratchet, a clash that will probably decide who wins Group F. And I suspect Diddy Darius will probably win that match. Arctic Warriors going up against Dino Hug, a massive game at the bottom. Although it could have no significance, depending on the result. If Dino Hug was to just win, then these two would both be eliminated. But Arctic Warriors, a bonus point win, could be enough should other results go their way. So yeah, a lot of stipulations for Group F. Still plenty to play for. And you're going to have to wait and see till round for round five. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment, check out the channel. Yada, yada, yada. And until round four for Group G, this is Strange Gamer signing out.